We know what those chants be. We know what a lot of these people want. They are the ones that are pushing the genocide. And to even use that word for these people, the Jewish people, that have been through what they have been through in modern times, we know the history of what the Jewish people have been through in just the last century, just, you know, the past, uh, not even a hundred years, guys, but it was back in the 30s when they went through what, what, what they went through. One, one of the, 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 the worst, worst attacks on, 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 on a racial group of people, an ethnic group of people that has ever existed in modern, that I'm aware of myself personally. If somebody can tell me of something worse than what was done to the Jewish people back in the 30s, I'm open to hearing it, okay? But you present good, solid facts to me to persuade me that there was a worse crime committed uh, to a group of people in, in, in the modern era beyond what was done to the Jewish people back in the 30s, guys. And the very reason why the word genocide was even coined. Now, to take that word and to throw that in the face of these people and to, and to say that these people are doing what that regime back in the 30s did to them. It's, it's a whole new level of degradation, guys. It's a whole new level of insulting someone, degrading someone. Because I have watched enough footage throughout my lifetime of the Holocaust. I know what was done to the... I don't claim to know every single the story. I can only go into it for so much, guys, and it um, it starts invading my mind. It starts invading. Like I have dreams about it and everything. Like I can only expose myself to so much of it, and then I have to pull myself back. But I have exposed myself to enough of it throughout my lifetime to fully understand why the term genocide was used for what was done to these people. And I don't have the words for any group of people that are accusing the Jewish people of doing to another group of people, and I'm going to mention that we, we know who, 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 who you're talking about, that, 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 that they're committing the genocide toward, you know. And to say that the Jewish people are doing to these people what was done to them? When you know full damn well if you have a thinking brain at all and if, and if you have educated yourself to any level at all, guys, you know, you should know that to, I, 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 see, I, I don't have the words for it, guys. I, I, I truly don't have, I'm, I'm struggling to figure out how to phrase this to, to express the rage that I'm feeling, that anybody could do that, could take that word and throw it back in the faces of the people that the word was coined for because of the level of atrocities that were committed to them. You go to Poland right now, guys, and you look at a mountain of ashes, okay, of the remains of tens of thousands of people that died in the ovens in the concentration camps, the remains of, of those people, okay? And everything that's, that's in th those memorials, uh, in those, uh, what's left of the uh, concentration camps. And you tell me, you walk away from that, and you tell me again that the Jewish people are doing to the Palestinian people the same thing. Guys, come on, come on. Use your brains, think, exercise, even a minuscule amount of humanity and reasonable thinking, guys. You know, they, they, there is no comparison. There is absolutely no comparison. And you have no right whatsoever. I want to use much stronger language here right now. You have no right whatsoever to be throwing those kinds of terms, and those phrases uh, at the Jewish people for doing nothing more than defending themselves for doing the exact same thing that the United States did 23 years ago when they were attacked. Okay? No one accused them of committing a genocide 23 years ago, guys. 23 odd years ago. 
But for some reason, you feel that you have the right to accuse the Jewish people today who have been fighting for their survival for most of the modern era, for most of their history, who now finally have their state back, their country back, more or less, after being ripped away from it for so much of their history. And never, ever, 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 guys, ever, you understand this, okay? I'm not Jewish, but I know what this place means to Jewish people. I know what this region, that land, that, that strip of land, that everything, it's their full heart and soul and spirit and, and everything that they are about, guys. There is no group of people on this planet more connected to that land that is currently the modern state of Israel, not even all of what should be theirs, than these people, guys. It's in their religion, it's in their practices, it's in their hopes, their dreams for the past 2,000 years, guys. i got to change my CD. One second, guys. I just put uh, one uh, CD on this background music and I just uh, went through there. I'm going to have to check now and see how far I've gone through this. I might have clued up in there shortly. Again, this is not scripted, guys. None of my videos are scripted. Um, what I'm struggling to do here is to... This is my love message. As corny as this sounds, this is my love message to the uh, state of Israel, to the... Uh, Jewish people. This is not a speech. This is not. Um, this is not politics. This is sheer raw humanity being expressed to my fellow humans, to my Jewish family. You're my family. Everybody asks one of you. I don't know you. There's a small Jewish community here in town, guys. You're my family. You are a part of me. You're in my heart. You're in my soul. You're in my mind. You're on my thoughts constantly. I want to make this video, guys, to present this message so you can hear a mes message of love in an overwhelming sea of nothing but hatred and belligerence directed toward you continuously. I want you to feel, feel love, to know how it feels for somebody outside of your community who isn't a Jew can love you. You, you are the people of the Prince of Peace. I was brought up in a Christian background, guys. That's true. I live here in uh, Newfoundland. Born and raised there in Newfoundland, guys. Um, sixth, seventh generation uh, Newfoundlander. Uh, second generation Canadian. Canada is a Judeo-Christian country, okay? It was founded on, Jude as all of North America, okay? Founded on Judeo-Christian principles and beliefs, okay? So, is the province of Newfoundland. Everyone that came here, outside the first indigenous people that were here when, when we came here, all come from Judeo-Christian nations. So I was brought up in that belief system. And from as far back as I can remember, guys, I have had an understanding of what... Um, the Kingdom of Israel, the later uh, Kingdom of uh, Judea, and now the modern state of Israel, means. Now, yes, it was through, you could say, a clouded lens, in a sense, excuse me, in that um, it's all, the whole story is revolving around one Jew. One insanely miraculous, amazing, outstanding, phenomenal Jew. 
not Christian, not Muslim, Jew. A man who once walked to face this earth, who embodied love, nothing but love. His whole message, is his whole being was about love, harmony, peace, getting along, understanding one another, loving one another, seeing the other as an extension of yourself, your other as your brother, your sister, your family, all being family. He didn't just preach the message, he was the living embodiment of the message according to what tradition has passed down to us guys. This is the way I've always understood the Prince of Peace. And what I keep saying in every message that I'm able to present in um, uh, responses over videos and all the rest of it, arguably, because I know not every Jewish person will, will, will agree, um, but arguably one of the greatest Jews that ever walked the face of the earth, who has changed more lives, influence more people than any other, possibly any other human being that ever walked the face of the earth. And he was a Jew. He lived as a Jew and he passed from this plane of existence, guys, as a Jew. And we, that should be a sobering reminder for everybody every Christian person that claims to be a true Christian person and those from the other faith that are actively the extremists within that faith that are actively working to try to destroy this nation and people that you claim to revere this individual yet he was a Jew he wasn't the first of your faith and he wasn't the first of my religion he was a Jew guys And I have wondered many, many times over, wherever he exists to right now, what he, what he feels. Uh, these are his people. This is what my heart tells me, guys. These people are his people, his kindred. These were the ones that he embodied his physical life to uh, uh, live amongst who chose, he chose the Jewish nation, he chose the land of Judea, the Jewish people, to be one of these people, to live out his earthly life as one of these people. There must be something special about these people, a certain way of living, a certain a set of principles and so on, that caused them to decide to incarnate at that time, in that place, amongst those people. And it's recorded in our scriptures, the Christian scriptures, where he wept over Jerusalem. He loved his own with a burning bitter passion, guys. And when I listen to Christian people go on with their religious nonsense of how the Jews should convert to Christianity and how the uh, Jew uh, sacrificed uh, uh, Jesus, Yeshua, the Prince of Peace, when it's even recorded in our tradition what's been passed down to us, that he forgave, guys. He forgave. When he was hanging on that cross, when he was in unbelievable pain and suffering, he forgave. He forgave everyone. And we, who claim to be his followers, can't have the same spirit of forgiveness. I personally don't believe the Jewish people had anything to do with this. It's, 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 Propaganda that was uh, developed in my religion very, very early on. I don't buy into it. I don't believe it. But whether there is any truth to it or not, guys, he forgave. So just as he forgave, we have to forgive. The Jewish people are precious to the Prince of Peace. They are precious beyond words. And I, for one, why not believe for one second that wherever he exists to right now, that he's the least bit happy with the way these people are being traumatized and demoralized and degraded and torn to pieces mentally, emotionally, physically 
their nation being ripped apart, their communities ripped apart, their lives ripped apart, guys. No one's ever going to convince me that wherever he's to right now, that he's sitting there, he's residing there, he's watching all this, and he's happy with this? He's okay with this? You can take all your religious propaganda and get on, get on my face with it, because I don't buy into it, guys. I don't buy into it. My sense of everything tells me something different. And if people of this particular religion, as they're trying to destroy the Jewish people, if you revere this man to the level you say that you revere him, and you see him as a great prophet, then through that, through him, you should love the people that he loves himself, that he cherishes, that are like precious jewels in his sight. I always have been, I always will be, guys. He never, I have said it in message after message after message after message, stuff that's gotten deleted time and time again, he never walked away from his own. He never turned his back on his own. And he still hasn't today. My precious Jewish family, do not believe that lie either. Yeshua cherishes you. He still cherishes you. You are precious to him beyond words. Just like we all are. Of course we all are. Of course we are, guys. Of course we are. Throughout this entire thing, no one has ever said that any death is excusable. Any death is okay. I'm sick of this lie as well that's being propagated by the side that is trying to destroy this nation and people. We are not saying that deaths that are happening in... I, I, I can't even say the words because I don't know what it's going to do, to do for the, uh, the, the, to the video. Uh, that strip of land that we all know uh, now, it's quite so well. No one has ever said that the deaths, the innocent deaths that have occurred in that area is okay. Or in the other area. Okay? But you got to understand, guys, the Jewish people, they just cannot roll over and allow themselves to be destroyed. To allow themselves to be annihilated. And that is what every single last one of you are calling for. You're calling, when you say the things you say, when you put these insanely unreasonable demands on Israel that you put on them, 